spray with Bellerophon essential oils for the mindful horse and rider. Uh, my name is Grace and this is Joe. <laughs> he is a quarter horse Arabian mix and um, he's fairly young still. Um, he gets ridden a lot and uh, mainly in English and <laughs> I have the oils in my hand. He can smell them already. <laughs> um, he has a history of ulcers, um, not necessarily colic, but he did get vetted for ulcers and had them and has been treated in the past and he's on um, a specific diet for preventative care to help with that. Today I'm going to be demoing either equine aromatherapy ulcers and GI health with him or equine aromatherapy colic magic depending on which one he chooses. And as you can tell, he's a little fussy right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him pick which one of these um, smells the best to him that he needs right now. And um, we'll go from there. Which one do you want? That one. Okay, so he got a little small whiff of the both of each one of them closed and um, I think I'm confident in saying that he chose um, the ulcers in GI health and he just had a nice little process about that with the lick and chew. Stop. Stop. And I'm going to go ahead and um, get started. So to begin with these essential oils, you want to mix up the oils inside because um, they are oils, so they're going to be a little bit separated. This is the first time we will have used this oil on Joe, so I'm really curious to see what his response is to it. I'm going to go ahead and open it and excuse you. Um, Joe, stop. I'm going to go ahead and open it and fill my dropper. I'm only going to use like three drops in my hand. One, two, three. And then I'm going to rub my hands together gently to mix them in my hands and let him breathe it in at the same time. He's definitely already taken a liking to it. He's making a funny face <laughs> and an immediate lick and chew. He's not trying to eat it. I've had horses try to lick it. He really wants it to breathe it in. And I'm just gonna let him stand here and smell it as much as he wants to. Meal break. And that was another lick and chew. Although you can't see he was behind me, but Every time that he licks and chews, it's a nice um, release of any adrenaline and it just shows like thought process behind um, their energy and in their minds. His head is immediately nice and low. He's processing a lot. And I'm gonna go ahead and massage the rest that's on my hands. Um, into his like the lower part of his neck and his sides and then I'm also going to show you how you can um, use this oil while you're grooming um, or after grooming just to help um, with any GI support. Um, yeah. In order to apply the oil to the brush it is recommended that you apply the oil to your hand first and then from your hand to the brush um, rather than just putting it directly onto your brush. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. He's kind of bored, as you can tell, and full of energy. Don't push me, please. I'm going to apply um, two drops to my hand. <clears throat> and um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, rub my brush across my hand. And this doesn't leave any residue on your hand so much. Um, it gets absorbed really nicely and you can always massage. Does it smell good? He says it smells good. Um, you can always massage the rest in from your hand onto their body. He just had 
another release, even though he's trying to play with his rope. He had another nice looking chew. So now that I have the oil applied to the brush, I'm going to brush it down his sides. I am going to be careful to avoid any sensitive skin, um, just for the sake of um, being careful, as well as avoiding the area where his girth would go. While the oil does not necessarily make his coat slick or slippery, um, it's just better to err on the side of caution. I would say I'm happy with his response to it so far. Um, we did see some releasing, some licking and chewing, um, and I'll keep an eye out for um, how his rides over the next week um, go. Thank you.